Second Blind Wave for the women. Hey. I'm Melanie. I'm Baba. And we don't have Joy tonight. She's sick tonight. But this is like the pin ultimate pin ultimate episode. So we cannot miss this. So she said go ahead and film without her. And hopefully she'll join us next week. <sighs> <laughs> but we are getting so close. We are on 13. Uh, 13. Good heavens. Three. <laughs> <laughs> episode 13. Season. I did so much. <laughs> Well, no, I'm looking at my supernatural uh. stuff. Anyway, season three, episode 12? Yes. Wow. I know, I don't want it to end. Oh, we're getting close. It's just going to get sadder. <laughs> and the worst part is, this is a part two. So we watched part one, what, three weeks ago? Mm hmm. Forever ago. Oh, that's right, we had that two, bre two week break. <laughs> First week, we don't know why there was a break, and the second week was because someone had to make a state of a union. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. No one important. <laughs> Didn't you know This Is Us was on? Damn! Priorities! <laughs> but anyway, last time we were on, we had Raven with us, right? <gasps> no, the week before that. The week before that yeah. was Raven? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So it's really been a while, I barely remember. But it was the first time meeting Mickey, right? At the RV. Nikki. Nikki? Yeah. Oh, good lord. <laughs> it's close. Not Michael. Not, <laughs> not Nick. How dare you get his name wrong? Nikki. <laughs> first time meeting Nikki at the RV, so that was a very fun, like, parallel type story that we had going on. Of Jack meeting him and then the big three meeting them. Yeah. And then the whole turning the right direction, then never stop. So, fortunately, the guys turned back towards Nikki and helped the situation. That Kevin stepped up where his dad could not. Yeah. So that was our heart-wrenching moment. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of crying. Look, there's like my tears are on this page from last week. <laughs> Makeup smudges. <laughs> I put, or like, was that the chocolate? Because <laughs> I remember dropping chocolate on my notebook. <laughs> I put teardrops right next to everything that oh, makes me sad. Cry. And I have the stadium and like stuff like that for the season, the episode before that. Yeah, but I think we actually <laughs> finally saw like the accident. Because we all thought that Nikki tried to commit suicide. Or Nikki yeah. um, staged it so that he could run away. Because we didn't know, like, how was he alive? How the army didn't know. So we finally saw, you know, the fishing that he did with the kid, that he was starting to actually bond with the kid and the accident that it caused. And how he never got to tell Jack it was an accident. And that Jack died thinking before his brother tried to kill a kid. Of course, we discussed that in Jack's mind, it probably wouldn't have made a difference because he was still high and took a kid out. I was fishing with grenades. Mm hmm Yeah. But anyway, if you guys are interested in our reaction to this episode, make sure you click down on the link below. It will take you to the website where you see a 10-minute long mm -hmm. reaction. About. Or there might be another link down there that takes you to Patreon for a full-length reaction. So, click, click, whatever you want to do. Make sure you watch, like, whatever. We'll see you here in a little bit. <laughs> oh, click, click. I didn't really pick, write down anything, so I'm trying to write down everything now. <laughs> How do we even want to go about discussing this? There's so many parallels. So many parallels. There are. I, I like this episode because it's all about everyone having a different point of view. No, I hate this episode. But continue. <laughs> continue. <laughs> So it made it interesting in that aspect that everyone remembers everything a little differently, differently. or well, looks at things differently. Which they've covered before with the whole Kevin thing where like the other two were like, mom and dad were amazing. And Kevin's like, that's because you had mom and you had dad and I had what was left over. Yeah. So they, they've covered this before, but I like that they're covering it with Katie where she has rose colored glasses when it comes to her dad. Yeah. I don't think she saw everything that Randall did of how depressed he was because it was always Randall seeing him alone on the step seeing him working yeah, out yeah first one in the kitchen when her the plate was thrown like or slipped I, I how many times <laughs> have I dropped stuff because they just slipped. and it went on the wall I know I don't know how to explain that well, maybe it's just yeah uh, 
I don't know how many times I've <laughs> the plate slipped from my hand and accidentally hit the wall. I can't count that either. <laughs> May not naturally be this red, <laughs> but definitely natural all burn here. So I understand that rage. But no, I like the whole comparing because we had Kate and Randall, different points of views. We had Nikki with his different point of view versus the families. Of Jack? Of the, just, so you guys are here for the rescue and okay. then... Yeah, I think you guys are just abducting me. Like, <laughs> like a different. So, it was just related in several different situations here, so it's kind of neat. But, do we want to start with... Um, Sorry. Just Pringles. The Pringles. The Pringles are the delicious. <laughs> I liked how they talked him into going into the motel and staying with them. Yeah. This nice, high-end motel. <laughs> Which, like, the room didn't quite match... The breakfast area for me. I know, the breakfast that's area what was I what belongs in a high end hotel, but the room looked like a motel. <laughs> yeah, but it it had different rooms in that room, so it was like a oh, big motel. Yeah, the bathroom was really weird. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it was nice, but of course, I think they can afford that. Yeah. Well, you know. Actor. <laughs> <laughs> Actor and councilman. And ca- well, he's not making money from the councilman yet. Oh, and that's she's true. She's been un- unemployed for a while. Yeah. Kate or uh, Beth. Beth. Both of them. Well, I guess Kate's singing, but... Cause Anagrams. Sanagrams? Sing... Uh, no. Singagrams. Uh, Sing... Adelagrams. Adelagrams <laughs> or something like something. that. Something. I was getting there. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no. And then they're like Pringles. <laughs> Pringles are good. And that's all he has to talk about, is that there's Pringles. Baba's favorite. Salt and vinegar, in case anyone cares. No, nobody cares. It's like the only flavor she likes. Salt and vinegar is really good. Oh, yeah, it when is. When you need that saltiness. Yes, it is. And it cuts it with that vinegar. They're perfect. Perfect. But I don't know if I like this episode because, oh, it's going to, like, the whole theme of, we're going to take this guy that we saw almost commit suicide, take him out of there, Put him in his own hotel room, which made no sense to me because he had a gun. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't well, have he a gun with him. With him but... He doesn't have the gun with him, but there's there's so many ways to commit suicide. There's yeah. If there's a will, there's a way. Exactly. So, so I just found it strange that they put him in a hotel room, and I just find it strange that they didn't try harder. Like I understood Randall's sense of like I'm councilman. I got like three kids and a wife that's unemployed. I gotta go. And Kate's with, you know, I'm pregnant and it's a high risk pregnancy. I gotta go do these programs. I understand that. Yeah. But I just they saw this guy with a gun in front of him and drinking, and this is their last connection to their father. I know. And they're leaving. And they I ditch. Just, yeah. And they ditch. And I understand Kevin's like he he's like, What can I do? This guy doesn't want me here. And then at the end he just leaves too. And I'm that to me doesn't I, I don't It know. doesn't scream Pearson. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> this guy, like, he's he's alone. And what killed me, and I'm, when we do the whole what makes you cry the most, this is gonna be the part that made me cry the most was like, you guys are what I always wanted. And to hear that and still leave him, I just don't get it. <laughs> I I don't like this episode. <laughs> well, he said you guys are what Jack always wanted. I thought he said I I thought he said he. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe he meant he. But then I understood his eyes, too, because he... That's not what they wanted, was for him to be alone in a trailer drunk, thinking about killing himself every night. No. And I agree with you. I don't know how Randall and Kate were just willing to get up and leave. Like, it just felt a little off. But I also understand... Yeah, it feels off to me. Like, I don't like it. But I also understand the, well, I'm mad because dad never told us. And then there, it's com- it's complicated. This is an old angry man who has PTSD, who's been drinking. You know, Abandoned pretty abandoned, much by it's his dangerous. family. It's just seeing the way Randall handled the William situation to seeing this. It's yeah. like it doesn't match. It doesn't match and I don't like it. But I guess for him, he was looking for his family. And he's never had the connection to his family. So, and he has all of this with Jack's family, which he has his siblings. He has Rebecca. He has Miguel. I get that. I just don't like it. 
I know. It felt a little off. It was just kind of like, no, Kevin, by the way, we're we're leaving. I'm sorry. (laughs) Like, nothing was resolved. Nothing had been done. We're leaving. And the whole last episode was about fixing the mistakes your father couldn't do. So that's why they made the turn. That's why they headed back. And it just felt like... They They didn't fix it. They didn't fix it. He lives in a trailer. Hitch it up. Take him. <laughs> take him, <laughs> take him somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> I just don't get it. I hate it. I hate it so much. And oh, uh, I hate it. But I understand we also have a connection to Nikki because we've seen the Nikki as, as a kid. We've seen yeah. Nikki as a teenager, maybe. We've seen Nikki struggle. So we know more about Nikki than the big three does. Yeah, that's very true. Um, I just don't like it. <laughs> no, I... Like I like, especially with Rebecca, I don't know why she doesn't want to try to dig more and find out more. Because, like, she even said, whenever they met up, she was like, um, it's been a long time since I've been in the same room as someone that has more memories yes. of Jack than what I do. Or has memories that I don't know. Or, yeah. Yeah. So. Is that what we're talk for? <laughs> yeah. But I also understand that he's a hard nut to crack, so... Like, maybe she's just like, I'm, that's all I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah. And she was happy with what she got. The whole... Tongue uh, and groove. Tongue and groove. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Happy memories. They made their own pizza. <laughs> Here's some pizza. We'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't like how they left Nikki. Um, I did like... We'll finish that up before we get to the Jack. Mm-hmm. But um, I did like how Kevin went ahead and fixed up his trailer mm-hmm. and helped him out the best way that Nikki would let him help. Yeah. And then he's like, now my roof won't leak. You should be happy. I'm happy that you're getting out of my life. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> We're both good. Get out of here. So I think that was a good compromise. But like you said, nothing was really finalized or resolved yet. I want more. Well, we have one more episode, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> one more. But, all right, let's go to the whole Kate and Randall and Jack. Yeah. The pizza. No, the pizza. Pearson pizza. What's on it? Because I love spinach on pizza. It looked like spinach and tomato. Ooh, and cheese. Well, yeah. All the cheese. <laughs> like more than normal cheese. That's the extra cheese. <laughs> so, yeah. I like that, but it started out pretty rough for them, too. Like, the whole Jack deciding to stay home, and then they're like, I, I love the look that the kids Let's gave get. each other whenever, Mo, uh, not, Rebecca. Why did I say Monica? I thought you were saying mom, so. <laughs> <laughs> whenever Rebecca was going off and was like, hey, no, I'm going to take Kevin with me, and then Jack's like, yeah, I'm going to stay here. All the kids are like, Dad's going to help us do what? <laughs> and Mom's going to go get a baseball card signed. Which instantly she proved she wasn't the one to go because she was like, we're going to go get food and the line might go down. I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> the line goes down and then the athlete leaves. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. But I love that look. Like, really? Yeah. Really, guys? Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're doing today. And then the sequins fight. So, the whole episode was building up on that memory of the sequence fight. So, we're like, are we ever going to see it? What's going on? <laughs> but, like, the making the cards and the mess. And then, this is not what I needed today, Kate! <laughs> yeah. Like, the rage. Oh, and I understand and empathize with that rage. I might not have that depression that came before. <laughs> but I understand that rage. Ooh. Just walking in, you understand that rage too. <laughs> Don't give me that. I like seeing. <laughs> like, bypass that conversation. Um, uh, no, I like seeing that Jack is suffering with his decision. I don't know if it's at that moment he's mourning his brother because at that moment he was done with his brother. Yeah. From then on, Nikki was dead to him. So was he mourning his brother at that moment, or was he? fighting his decision at that moment or was he just coming to terms so I don't know like the depression of leaving his brother behind and then Kate which surprises me that she doesn't she does have rose colored glasses but 
I thought that would be a trauma memory of, like, her dad snapping at her. <laughs> the whole clean up. Well, I could understand that, you know? Like, like my parents snapped at me if I made a mess like that. That's understandable. I think that was a different kind of snapping, though. Well, right? <laughs> I don't know. Because, like, he did say, just don't make a mess, mess. before he even left. And then he came in, and there was all the sequins and everything all over the floor. So, it was a justifiable snap. Like, to the point where I can understand where she doesn't remember that very well. Yeah, because I don't remember all the times my parents snap at me, that's for certain. It was too many. <laughs> <laughs> we all blend in. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. I just think it's different because Jack never snaps at her. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, we don't see, like, all the disciplining and everything in the family, so. But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But then they follow up with the whole, I love the whole excitement of ordering your pizza. <gasps> I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to order some pizza. <laughs> I love we that. get to order our <laughs> own? <laughs> what? Money's in my wallet. You know, say that to a kid. (laughs) But Randall's extremely responsible and has always been, so it's not like he's going to do anything except for buy a $50 pizza. (laughs) That has, like, all these toppings on it. What was it, like, all their favorite toppings? I think so. That's sweet. So pepperoni maybe was one of them? I don't Mm -hmm. know. It looked red with the spinach on top. So oh, look good. So I'm going to order some spinach pizza this week, maybe. Oh, yeah. I love Ooh. spinach and feta. Oh, God. Oh, especially with the white sauce. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> what? <laughs> with the sequence. I love, I was going to get to that, because you do that, too, where if you do, you know, have that moment where you yell at your kids or not, but then the, the moment where Jack comes in and tries to surpasses anger and like makes that moment for the kids where he's like oh, what's happening with my hand <laughs> and like he has that moment with the kids where I've seen you and Aaron do that too where you try to get over the anger bump I don't know the disciplining bump where it's like you know you made me mad this one moment but I still love you I still care for you and we're still gonna have fun as a family And I love that Jack does that because right now we know he's going through this horrible depression, this horrible anger, and he's including his kids. And it's like, I'm going to throw some sequins. Maybe that's part of the anger. Throw some sequins at these (laughs) effing kids. I can get that, yeah. (laughs) You want to (laughs) fly? And I love whenever Rebecca walks into the door, what What is going on here? Which I said earlier, I was like, I can't wait for Rebecca to come in. (laughs) And then I like how she's like, go ahead and join them. (laughs) I'm not cleaning this up. (laughs) Yeah. So I like how she understood that Jack needed that anyway. So. And the kids. Go ahead and let it go on. But you take care of it afterwards. (laughs) So it was good. And again, like... We were discussing before, probably before we even did this, the, just the different point of views that Randall remembered the worst day, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that was the worst day for Dad. And then Kate's like, this was the best day, day ever. Right. Like, the sequence yeah. fight, Cat. I mean, Randall, <laughs> the sequence fight right. and the Pearson pizza. <laughs> It was the best day ever. So just the two different points of view. And then same thing with the different points of view with Nikki. That surprised me whenever um, uh, he was talking to Rebecca and Nikki was like, Rebecca's like, Kevin's trying to do everything to take care of you. He's trying to take you to the centers and whatnot to take care of you. And Nikki is like, you know what? He's just this movie star that came in. I don't know him from anything. He's mm-hmm. blonde, he's tall, and he's trying to abduct me from a trailer. <laughs> like, just the different points of views. And then there was one more different uh, points of views. What was it? I have it written down somewhere. But I'm wondering if that's going to come in for the season finale, is how all these different points of views are just kind of going to merge all together. Because right now I don't see what the big thing's going to be. For uh, the season finale. Well, like what we just 
I was saving this for last, but at the end, Kevin takes a drink. He doesn't just take a drink. He, like, goes to town on that bottle. Yeah. What causes, like, I don't understand, like, what's, is it the temptation of the drink just being there? Because I'm not an alcoholic. I don't know the temptation of a drink being there, but what's causing, what causes him to get that drink right there? He was doing so well, and I just ate it. I ate it. I ate this episode. <laughs> Think of it like you're on a diet, and there's a plate full uh, of cookies right there. I always fail. Yeah. <laughs> I always go for the temptation. Especially if you're, like, PMSing, and it was the worst day ever. Okay. Yeah, you explain it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that whole plate's gonna be gone. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, I was going after these <laughs> during the whole episode. So I understand that. But the other different point of view was Rebecca with uh, Kevin and all that. So. On the baseball thingy? Mm hmm. But no, we have Kevin going back to alcohol, we have Beth's mom with, with a hip. broken hip. So she's leaving. So is Zoe. So is this explaining the future at all? Like, I still don't see what the big thing's going to be for the season finale. <gasps> oh, you mean the future connection. Uh, psh, I don't know. Yeah, see, I don't know. Like, the previous seasons, we're like, oh, she's going to get married. Oh, we're going to find out how he dies. <laughs> like, you know, William's going to die. Like, we knew what was coming. I don't know what's coming for the season finale. And that's next. Yeah. I'm... I don't know. I know nothing. Like, other than the worst of the worst, I can't predict anything for the season finale. Neither can I. So it's going to be interesting. Other than, can the family that lives at the Pearson Old Home be part of the show? Because, oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> that, that drama that we got thrown into. I know. We're like, what is this? Give me more. I was like, did we get the Hulu without the commercials? What is this? <laughs> I don't know. But I love it. The dad was hilarious. Yes, I love the dad just bluntly honest. <laughs> and I thought that kid was getting kidnapped. Because I'm like, if, that, if she just goes to people, you want to come to my room? You want to come see my room? <laughs> I was like, this, oh. this kid does not have a bright future. But uh, the parents. The grandparents sent her out. Not the parents. Yeah, that's right. Because the musician wasn't there. <laughs> but I guess we do have some questions. Oh, cool and nice. So if you guys have any questions or anything, especially with season finale coming up next, make sure you hashtag Twitter. Uh, hashtag Big 3 Q&A. <laughs> with Give the number three. The number three. My nose is so stuffy. I'm making all the weird ends every time I say, mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm going to say, Ringo. <laughs> I didn't tell you about that. Yeah. I was trying to say amigo the other day and came out, amigo. <laughs> amigo. <laughs> you made a new word. I'm choking on my own. Uh, this one's at Edwin B. Hi, Edwin. I just talked to him earlier on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, did we see everything in Nikki's box? Did see, we see inside Nikki's box? I don't remember ever seeing inside Nikki's box. That's why I was like, is, is he going to look inside Nikki's box? Or is he looking at the alcohol? Maybe it was open when he took the gun out? Like, during last episode? Maybe. And then, is that where he showed pictures from? Did he have pictures from the war? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember either. It's been like a month since we've seen that last episode. <laughs> right? I was hoping Kevin was going to look inside the box and not drink. Yeah! I really hoped that too. I didn't... I think that's another thing. We, It was hitting Kevin hard, but we weren't realizing just how hard it was hitting Kevin to lead him to drink. Because we're like... I guess we did talk about how the two brothers bailed. Of two brothers. The siblings bailed. And he's dealing with this on his own. And he's just hitting a wall. And he's hitting a wall. And he's hitting a wall. Yeah. And his mom's trying to help. But there's nothing that she can do to help. He calls Zoe. Zoe's dealing with her own issue with her. The person that she thinks of as a mom. Her. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> her mom. Also, Valentine's episode. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Happy Day. Day. Shows like this must have great planning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they were working on Valentine's Day cards. That's right. Oh. It was a Valentine's Day episode. Boy. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> You're absolutely right. They did have great planning. <laughs> yeah. I was like, how was this romantic at all? <laughs> no, it wasn't. But they were working on Valentine's Day cards. And it happened around Valentine's Day. Whenever... 
in the past. So, mm. yeah. The next few are from Marisha Smid. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and say that now. All from Marisha. Which, beautiful name. Love it. Uh, let me click the show this thread. She gave us two threads. So this one is, oh my god, my heart was so warm and fuzzy. Love this episode. We disagree. <laughs> she <Ooh>. disagrees. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> Loved the Kevin, Nikki, and Rebecca scenes the most, especially Rebecca and Nikki's conversation about Kevin. First season and a half, I really disliked Kevin, but now I love him and hope he will find help with his addiction before he gets worse. And I hope we see Nikki again. Also, it's cool that we, we as people can spend the same day but have different memories of that day. Have you guys experienced that with someone that you talked about it years later and have different perspectives on it? I'm sure. Yeah, definitely me and my brother. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, yeah. Yeah. We remember mom being crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Do you have, like, one story in particular? or? Oh, I can't think of one particular. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just remember different degrees. Yeah. 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 I remember, like, there was this one time where mom was so mad, but I didn't know the whole story because I was still a kid, but my brother, he was in college, so he knew the whole story. He was like, this is why mom was mad. I was like, mom was mad for that? Holy shit, I didn't know. It was like this big moment of, we remember that way different. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't think my brothers and I ever talk about memories, so. Good reason to start. Yeah. <laughs> Experiment. I don't remember much, like, of my childhood or memories at all. Especially after you have kids. It's kind of like, eh. Oh, no. I have a good example. Ooh. You thinking the same person? Oh, uh, no, what? <laughs> my best, one of my good friends, Alice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she remembers things a lot differently than I do. We'll keep it at that. <laughs> she doesn't watch this, does she? <laughs> if she does, love you. <laughs> and then I also agree, like, Kevin grew on me. Yes, He definitely sure. grew on me. He's easily one of my favorites right now. Oh, yeah. And it's because of his character character growth in this series and the actor's amazing as him <laughs> the actor's amazing except i'd like to see him in the dc universe uh the cw dc universe i'm like, sorry be but... another universe of arrow yes <laughs> <laughs> well not even arrow but like just in there oh like how they had like past supergirl come in and yeah has yeah. A, a different character that would be cool, but he busy uh, with This Is Us, all right? <laughs> this is true, but it's only 13 episodes long versus, oh, like, shit, CW's, right. like... 20-something episodes. Yeah, forever. <laughs> forever. Come on, go on CW. Wait, this is another thread from Marisha. It's a little longer. <laughs> uh, the This Is Us after show. Oh, I forgot they do the after show. Oh, yeah. I only showed you once, and then we never went back. Uh, the This Is Us after show also had some good points about addiction. Also, about Kevin's addiction and how he is not really doing it the right way. We see him not going to meetings. That's so, mm -hmm. that's true. That's true. We, he hits the point of we can go to a meeting, but we've never seen him go to a meeting. Now, a lot of people, like, they start out being court mandated and then they continue going to meetings. So I'm wondering, that's like, he hasn't been in that much trouble yet, right? Has he been forced to go? I, I'm thinking. If he was forced to go, maybe it was after, like, where he was in the car with the kid in the back. Mm hmm But I don't remember. I don't either. Um, he's not going to meetings or talking to sponsors, and we don't see him taking care of himself. Yeah, he was, he threw his obsession, maybe that's another thing, he threw his obsession of drugs and drinking to finding Nikki. Oh, yeah, And then it true. comes to this dead end of hitting a wall because Nikki doesn't want to leave. We do see him jumping into a serious relationship, something they say you better, well, um, you can't do if you're recovering from addiction, although I do like them two together, and Kevin finding Nikki and all that stress is a lot for Kevin, so we see him probably struggle with his addiction for the rest of the series, which is only one more episode, <laughs> and his life. And that's also what I love about This Is Us, because this is so real. If you know someone with an addiction, that will be a struggle for them for the rest of their life, and it can also affect the people around them, especially in the bad moments. 
I cried when Rebecca talked to Nikki about Kevin. And there was a moment when she talked about how Kevin cares and that there's a lot going on in his head, but that he doesn't really show it and how he feels. And I was like, oh my God, that sounds like my brother. <laughs> and I do have to agree. Like, like, it's surprising how many people are fighting addiction. Like, for when I was in the nursing program, we were required to go to um, three AA meetings. Yeah, water drips in the wall. That's it creepy. sounds like someone's trying to come out. <laughs> I was thinking about it like that, but now I'm terrified. <laughs> but during the nursing program, I was required to go to like three AA meetings. And my first time there, I was surprised about of how many people I knew. Like, the room was completely filled. It was a hospital cafeteria, and it was completely filled with people. So there was like close to 100 people there. Holy moly. And I knew like every other person in that room. I was like, wow. And, like, they're just so supportive. Like, even though I was there for school, they're like, well, welcome. And, like, they're not embarrassed. Like, they were welcoming and, like, and one of them is actually my best friend's father. I never knew that he was going to AA, but he was the most welcoming and very open about it. And just, like, that's the way that you're supposed to live whenever you're trying to fight addiction is being open about it and being like supportive and going to your sponsors, being a sponsor after you hit so much and like just being that support system. Kevin doesn't have that. That's true. He's never even talked to Zoe about that. It's true. You're right. Like, like I wasn't even thinking that. And his whole family, like his uncle is an addict. His dad's an addict. His grandfather's an addict. Mm-hmm. Like, he really stands no chance of sobriety if he's, you know, spiraling, spiraling down like this with no support. Yeah. So, I definitely foresee bad signs coming up here. I foresee maybe a split between him and Zoe. Oh, God. Yeah. So, unfortunately, but I don't think that's our big ending. Because, I mean, I'm really not predicting suicide for him. For Nikki or Kevin? Kevin. Okay. Because I'm, I'm looking for the big ending, the big season finale that cool. This Is Us always has. And I don't think it's Kevin's sobriety because I think that's kind of foreseen. <laughs> okay. I don't know. So that's why I'm like, what's going to happen? I, ah, I guess we won't know until next week. So, hopefully Joy will be here. Yeah. One more. <laughs> That's from Daniel. Hi, Daniel. At Daniel True. At Daniel True. At Daniel True underscore. <laughs> no. no question for me, but just wanted to show support to your wonderful ladies and hope to see you react to other stuff in the future as well. Yeah. Hashtag big three can't be contained. Hashtag wave ladies killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Hearts. 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 I was about to say, what kind of heart is that? <laughs> Because you can't see it. I guess you kind of can. Do the other heart again. That just looks wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like another. No. No. Nope. 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 Too much younger for you. <laughs> you make sure that it's the last one because sometimes there's a dork named Aaron that oh. likes to send in a Q&A sometimes. And maybe that's why he... He kept yes. texting. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys seen it? Have you guys seen it? Nope. Okay. What is with my hair today, guys? Ooh. Ooh. It has no volume. Take some of this. <laughs> Give me. Give me. Uh, <laughs> um, I just showered, so. Explainable. Well, guys, thank you for all the Q&As. Again, if you have any questions or comments that you want to shoot, or like Daniel did, just support. Woo, thank you, Daniel. <laughs> then make sure you go to Twitter and do hashtag big three Q. Hashtag big three Q&A. And number three. <laughs> so, again, thank you for watching. If you did miss at the beginning, we talked about that there's a link down below to see the reaction to this episode. So you'll see a little 10-minute, another link to Patreon if you want to see a full length or and make sure you like, subscribe, follow. It's usually the dudes doing this. But we got this one because this is us. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
<laughs> it was good. <laughs> so links there, links there. Patreon, like, subscribe. Links over there. Uh, more Patreon, <laughs> subscribe. What was it that you said before? Clickety click, clickety click. <laughs>